Um, what about in terms of uh, abortion? You said that black people, 70% of them have babies outside of wedlock. They're also, unfortunately, the highest statistic of people killing their own children. Um, yeah. What, what is that attributed to? If black people are so poor, which is the claim, uh, some say, uh, how can they afford to, to have their babies murdered anyway? And um, why do you think that they're doing it? Well, first of all, black people are not poor. Oh, okay. Sorry. Lie. All right. I'm we, sorry. But no, they, I mean, the liberals do use that lie to say whenever they want to push a negative agenda, they always use the black race as the poor race and they can't help it. So black people well, need abortion. I suppose abortion. I fell for it. Hey. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're not, believe me, they got more money than you and I have. Believe me. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and because they get free stuff all the time. They get stuff we can't even afford to buy. Mm. Um. And the reason that uh, so many uh, blacks are having abortion because the men are not in control. 70% of Planned Parenthood abortion mills are in the inner cities, in oh, the urban areas. Yeah. And uh, in New York City, mm. more black babies are aborted than those who are born. That's horrible. And the reason that they are doing this to the, to the blacks because the men are weak. The men are no good. They're not there to protect the wives or the women from uh, the abortion mills. Mm. And so they go in and they make black women feel bad. Oh, you can't afford this baby. You poor black, let us help you. You know, mm. and they give, they give them abortion and the men are not there to stop it. If black men were to stand up and be men, especially men of God, I guarantee you abortion will end overnight. Uh, but as long as they're weak, it's easy to deceive the women, but it's not easy to deceive the man because the strength, the power of God is found in the man, not in the woman. And so good will defeat evil, but they'll wipe the man out. They'll cause them to be weak. And now most black women hate most black men due to their weakness. So that's why they're willing to kill their children. Mm. Well, I mean, it's really sad, but uh, I mean, it happens. Lots of white women are, are doing it too. I should Absolutely. Be clear. Yeah, and I don't even know about Latin women. My own, my own heritage. I'm sure they're doing it too. Um, yeah, if the men are not in control, I guarantee you they're doing it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 I think what what we've lost is shame. Our society yes. has lost shame, and by 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 no longer having shame, everything is glorified. People are confused about what's right and wrong because. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's 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 a huge issue, and that's why you're doing what you do at a much larger scale than what I'm doing, of course. But um. But I'm, I'm, I'm you you make me happy knowing that you're out there doing it, that you are a Christian, oh, and that you. you're standing up, and that you're enduring the, the hatred that's coming from the children of of uh, of the lie. So we need more people, like men and women, to get become Christians and get out there and stand against evil with the truth so I, i'm I, whatever i can do to help you i'm willing to do it I, I, it just make me happy knowing you're doing it oh thank you very much well i was i was really keen on interviewing you and i didn't think it'd be possible and then your your producer or your friend or your worker ernius said oh yeah, yeah. sure let's make it happen i was like oh my gosh sorry but <laughs> I, I got excited he's my, he's my pr guy a pr i guy. um Things are not going to get better until men get better, though. Men have to return to their proper state of being. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's wrong to be a beta male. Beta! Beta male. <laughs> beta! That's amazing. But... <laughs> <laughs> amazing. When I was growing up, men were not weak like this. They no. were like the Greek white hope. They had no fear. They protect their families. They provide it for the families. The women stay home and 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 watch over the the kids and things while the husband went out to work. Mm. The roles are now reversing. And if you notice, the more women take over, the worse things are getting. They're not getting better. They're getting worse. Yeah, we I don't even know guy. why they permit me to drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's a guy in, uh, I don't know if you know about this, being uh, from Australia, but there's a guy out of uh, Indiana. He's a, a radical homosexual by the name of Budget. Budget. You no. heard of him? No. He's Australian? No. Indiana. Uh, American. Indiana. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't know who that is. What's his name? Buddha Judge. He's running for president. He's a Democrat. 
Oh, nope, never heard of him. Oh, well, his name he won't win. His name is Buttigieg, and he's a Democrat, liberal, a whole, a rat. He used to be, I believe, the mayor of Indiana or something like that. He oh. is now running for president, representing the Democratic Party. Uh -oh. And this guy has what he called a husband. Two men, and he called this guy his husband, right? And they are, well, they are they're, like, they they're like kiss in the public with no shame. In the good old days when boys were boys and men were men, society would never allow that to happen. I know. It, and then we, in Chicago, they have a black woman who just who was just elected the mayor of the city. I probably she, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is a black. Oh, okay. And uh, she's now been elected the mayor of the city. It's over for that city, really over. And she has a so-called wife. And yesterday they swore her in mm -hmm. with the other day. And at the swearing in, at the end of the uh, ceremony there, she kissed her so-called wife in front of the public. And the public went, oh, yes, that's nice. Yeah. I'm thinking, are you guys crazy? Well, why do you say so-called wife? Legally, they are married under secular law, right? But it's not, for, it's an illusion, though. It's not real. Well, sure. Uh, I suppose you because can say there's that. There's no way two women can be wife or uh, wife and wife or two men to be husband and husband. A husband is a, one man, one woman. Well, we know anything that. Else is, anything else is an illusion. Mm, or a simulation, perhaps. Yeah, we have to pretend that it's right. And it's not right. And we shouldn't call good evil and evil good. Woe unto those who call evil good and good evil. You're going to pay a price for that. Well, do you think, because in every single century, Christianity has been very much demonized, but then there's also always a resurgence. Was Trump yeah. that resurgence? Are we, are we going back to Christianity again? Or Absolutely. Gonna, oh, there is, a, so there's hope. Absolutely. That's why God gave us the great white hope. He gave us Donald Trump. Because he's trying to save us from that disaster that Obama, Obama nearly took us under. I know. Oh, I, call, I call him the fallen messiah. He's yeah. pathetic. He's weak. He's the worst president we ever had in the history of America. Yeah. But by the grace of God, he's given us a great white hope, President Donald Trump. But what if you don't get Trump again? But, but see, I, I, I have faith. Well, I, I believe so. that we will. Oh, I hope so. But like, if yeah. you don't... Um, is that the end for Christianity or, or could, you know, like, do you believe the resurgence will, will maintain for a little longer than just four years or eight years? Yes, I believe so. Oh, I hope so. Uh, I hope you're right. Because uh, there are a lot of men and women around the world who are waking up yeah. of all races. I notice in my meetings, there is packed with men and women, young men and women too, millennials and Zs and some older people who are waking up. And mm. God is not waking them up just to be waking them up. No. He understands, he knows that we got a battle, we have a battle to fight, and that the children of Satan is on the loose. And so those men and women are gonna impact the country and the world in a positive way. Mm. That's, that's, oh, I hope you're right, because it, it's very bleak at the moment. Like our future seems really glib. Uh, and many are saying, oh, we're in the end days. But people have been saying that since the 1800s. And so, That's right. That's yeah, right. So it really bothers me hearing that because I find the book of Revelations to be so depressing. Um, <laughs> I don't like, uh, it's the one book of the Bible that I sort of stay away from. Yeah. Um, cause but that, no, it's going to be fine. Um, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And that's why God said we should walk by faith and not by sight. Mm. We can't believe what we see with our physical eyes, mm. only our spiritual eyes, because the physical eyes are deceiving. Mm. Uh, and you mentioned that uh, there's no shame about anything. Not anymore. And the reason there's no shame because the people have allowed the children of the lie to take shame out of everything so that they can accept. They want the good folks to accept all the wrong things that they're doing. Mm. And they don't want to be reminded that what they're doing is wrong. And that you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. And so, but it, we have to bring shame back. I did um, for my for the Fallen State, my TV show. I know, I love it. I, I went out on the street and I interv interviewed a woman by the name of Emma Rose. 
She mm. started a slut walk. Amber Rose, you know I, I know who she is. She kicked Milo Yiannopoulos and Lauren Southern out. Yeah. Yeah. And so I interviewed them, and uh, they tried to take the shame out of being sluts. And mm. so I interviewed them. I'm like, no, we have to keep the shame in. You should not be a slut. Yeah, absolutely. And, and men should not be slut makers. Mm. Because she asked me, well, if a woman is a slut for sleeping around with more than one man, what is what is a man that sleeps with more than one woman? And I said that he is a slut maker. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> she was shocked. <laughs> yeah, because no, no one would expect that response. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that women who sleep with more than one man are not married are sluts? I knew that. And then men who does that, who, who are do that, are slut makers. I would just say man slut, but yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, they're slut makers. Mm. Yeah, and so we need to put the shame back. We that do. shame is good. It is. It is. Yeah. Shame is good. Stigma. It's it's required. And um, the stigma now and the shame is is now on anything good. If you're a virgin, right. if you're a virgin, oh my God, you're a virgin. Ha 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 ha. That's funny. Or if you're. I know. Yeah. If you're battling with uh, same sex tendencies and you decide to suppress it or fight it or or convert out of it, oh my God, well, you're denying yeah. your true self. What is wrong with you? Um, it's a backwards world, and um, that's right. That's I, I right. think you and I feel a com feel a call to do what we're doing for yes. a reason. Um, Absolutely, because I get a lot of hate from the left. You probably get it in spades higher than I do. Um, I'm yes. still I'm still navigating my way through that, but um, I'm always. How do you? I was going to ask. How do you deal with that now? Um. Well, I I base I, I pray a lot. I pray all the time. Um, I, I've been reading some Bible verses, but I'm still learning how to feel the, feel the peace that I'm supposed to feel from it. And I don't have it yet. I don't yes. have the peace that you have, but, um, I, I stay away from our leftist pages on Facebook. I stay away from them because, um, even though they make me laugh, uh, sometimes if I'm feeling down, it could be worse for me. Like I, not that I'd ever be suicide or anything like that. I'm not like right. that. But um, yeah, I think I need to focus on God. And I have a lot of Christians who are praying for me at the moment because I think they feel sorry for me. And it's helped because I'm, I'm back to my happy self. When I spoke to you on the phone uh, last week, I was quite down. I was actually really, yes. really down. But, I remember. Um, yeah. And I'm not down about it anymore. I, yeah. I, I, I'm feeling better about it. So, But I'm assuming you get hatred all the time and you just don't even notice it. Whereas right. I'm, I'm still I, noticing it. But I, I need to get to that point where I no longer notice it and it's just it's just right. another day. But at the moment I notice it. But I've been doing this work for, I've been doing this work for twenty nine years now. Yeah. And because God took the spirit of anger away from me and he gave me perfect peace, I I love God with all my heart, soul and might, mm. uh, along with nothing else. Mm. And I love my neighbor as myself. I love my country. Mm. I can clearly see that it has nothing to do with male or female or color. It's a warfare between good and evil. And you have those on the left rep representing evil. They are doing what they are supposed to do. Their job is to destroy good if they can, right? Mm. And then you have those who are on the side of good. So when the people on the side of evil call me names, they'll call me all kinds of names. I mean, you think of it, they call me Uncle Tom or Coon or... Uh, the N word and everything else, but I don't care. It just rolled off my back. I mm. love what's right, and I realize that they are fight. They are doing what they're supposed to do. Their house is built on sand, and if they can on the rock. right, exactly. Mm. Yeah. And the only way that they can get control of you is by intimidating you or calling you names. And if you give in by getting mad or become afraid, then you lose. Exactly. I realize it's not them, but it's Satan that lives in them, and they can't help it. Well, actually, that's something I forgot to mention. I, I, I didn't pray for them immediately, but after the full week was over, I started praying for them. I started that's asking, right. yeah, I asked God to love them and to give them, um, to find, for them to find salvation in Christ and to take the hate away. So um, I didn't want to pray for that because I was angry at them, but I didn't. <laughs> I, I still did it. I still did it, and I think that takes strokes. <laughs> well, I wish them well. You know, I don't agree at all with what they're about. I'll stand up against them, 
Mm. But I wish them well. I wish they would repent. I wish yeah. they would see that they're wrong. Exactly. And and, and and repent from that and be born again. Exactly. But I'm not going to sit back and let them intimidate me and try to destroy this, my soul and, and you know, the and soul of America. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. Definitely not. Well, I think I've asked you everything I wanted to ask. Thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. I know I'm only a small YouTuber with 2,300 subs, but... Um, That's a lot. Well, it's a lot for me. <laughs> it's a lot. I, I hope that um, that you got something out of this discussion talking to some random Aussie girl. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> hey, did you have I, fun? No, no kidding. <laughs> I had fun. It was great. I want to show you my, before we go, I want to show you my Coon Award. Your Coon? Oh, what? Why? Who gave you that? Uh, a black hater. He hate me because I love what's right and I stand for what is right. And you and love the award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and so they call you Uncle Tom, a sellout. Yeah, I'm a, a gender coon. trader. Yeah, a coon is the same thing as an N-word, they say. Yeah. So they gave me the coon award. Are you proud of it? I'm proud of it. <laughs> that means that I'm a proud coon. That means <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're proud. I get called um, a Nazi, even though I'm pro-Israel. Um, right. I think part of that is guilt by association, but I believe you can be, you can hang out with different people of different ideologies and still be pro-Israel. Um, I, I love Israel. Yes. Well, um, uh, really? yeah, I think that they're on our side. Well, at least, at least yes. not, not the globalist ones. But um, right. but the not the Talmudic ones, but the Torah ones. They're on our side. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and we need to we need to have as many in our um, alliance as possible for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Thank you so much for having me on, and I wish you well. Uh, thank you. And whatever I can do to help, let me know. it. I'm glad you are my sister in Christ. In Christ. That's yes. what we need. Absolutely. And if you ever want me on your show, I know I can't do the Fallen State because I'm all the way over here, but I'd, right. love, I'd love for you to interview me one day if you'd like to. I would love that. I'll have them contact you. Absolutely. Cool. Sounds good. Well, um, thanks guys for tuning in and um, I'll see you guys next time for my next video or live stream or edited you, interview.